Well, my uh, my father was a cardiologist. He's actually about to retire. He's 76. Um, and then my cousin was an optometrist in Atlanta, where I'm from. And uh, I never even wore glasses or contacts when I was a kid. And I just went to sit with him a couple times, you know, and uh, just kind of it looked looked pretty cool. It uh, you know kind of enjoyed it. So I decided to, you know, after undergrad to go to optometry school. Most optometrists, you know, will do four years and just go and start working. I wanted to be more comfortable with pathology, so I did a residency in eye pathology, and I really think they should make every optometrist do it. Um, I went, I moved to New York, and uh, I worked in a hospital for a year, and I trained under a corneal ophthalmologist, a retina specialist, a cataract surgeon, etc. And I think I learned more in that year about pathology than I did in all four years preceding that, um, and. Uh, you know, it allows me to be comfortable with treating almost everything I can. Um, and I think they should, they should make it mandatory. I think uh, the most satisfying thing is being able to help people. I know it sounds somewhat cliche, but you know, people who come in and not just with glasses and contacts, but also with red eyes and infections. And sometimes you can find stuff that you don't want to find. Uh, found a choroidal melanoma in a patient one time which is cancer in the retina, but uh, we did save his, save his life because I referred him to the retina specialist and they you know, put a plaque behind the eye. And uh, he did lose partial vision, but it didn't go to the lungs and, and take his life. So uh, mm. that was rewarding. Yeah, I wish I would have told me that it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's a business. Um, I didn't expect it to be so much retail. I'm really not into that. Uh, I let my optician, who's great, do all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, regardless of how good I do with the patient in the exam room, it, a lot of times it comes down to, you know, pricing and stuff. And um, I don't get involved in that. But that's that's what I I never expected it to be so much retail. You know, I expected it to be more, you know, uh, medicine. Uh, the business aspect of it, uh, because it's changed so much. Um, you know, after a while, when you start doing glasses and contacts, it gets pretty routine. Um, you start treating infections, it can get very routine. Once in a while, you'll have a pathology that will throw you through a loop, and that's a great, I always love that, that's a great challenge. Most people will just refer out the patient. Uh, most optometrists will refer the patients out right to an ophthalmologist if they have like a central corneal infection. I, I don't do that. Um, I, I think that's just dumping your problems on somebody else. So I, I you know, I treat them myself. Um, that's always a good challenge. But really, the business aspect, the insurance is changing. That's that's kind of tough. I think every few weeks, they every few weeks, the insurance has changed this or changed that. So it's very, very important, or else you you can't profit. And you can't keep the doors open. You know. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.